Hello, hello everybody, welcome on in. We are back with some more Maniac, and I am Ori. We are going to be doing one of the stupidest builds I discovered in this game. It is, it is probably one of the stupidest things you will see in this game. Um, and it's actually incredibly fun. This is what I love about this game, just all the stupid, crazy stuff you can kind of discover. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna run Hot Dog Guy, and we're basically gonna do a no car run, unofficially. Uh, this isn't like an official challenge or anything, but for the most part, I'm not gonna be in my car at all. What we're going to do is we're going to focus pretty much solely on this body slam ability. Um, what's gonna happen is we're gonna jump up into the air, we're gonna slam into the ground, and we're basically gonna do, it's not like there's no special effect or anything, but you're gonna hit everything around you and it's all gonna go flying around you. It's, it's a really, really cool ability. And I spent a lot of time grinding a lot of gold so I could get it maxed out. And what's cool too is, something I did notice is, these have like five stars. Um, you can actually go more than that. So right now I have this at a six star body slam. Uh, you just get diminishing returns. So as we do this, if like if you do the flamethrower, you'll get 10, 10, 10, 10. But then after you do the five, you're only gonna start getting 5%. So you can keep, I think you can keep upgrading them almost as much as you want. I don't know if there's a max to it or not. But anyways, we're gonna run body slam. I'm picking up the max uh, bulletproof vest for uh, damage resistance. Uh, I picked up faster running speed and more resistance to impacts and explosions. And then I just picked up extra uh, blood and greater chance for splat damage. I'm not really sure exactly what splat damage does. I assume if you kill someone and they splatter, Maybe that's like an AOE damage effect. I'm not really sure, to be honest. And then I have a little bit of carjack, extra money, and then just increases inflicted damage to everything. So again, I'm barely gonna use my car. You're gonna see, this is this is pretty powerful. Uh, I'm basically just gonna run around, and I'm just gonna do this jump. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do for most of this game. <laughs> it's so stupid. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. It's so fun, though. But like, you, you literally just run around and just stomp everything. So that's what we're gonna do for like the next 20 minutes. It's just cause as much chaos as possible, blow everything up, and maybe we'll be able to win. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's incredibly strong though. It's, it's surprising how strong it is. I'm gonna turn down Let's turn down the sound volume a little bit, I think. Not all the way. The, um, I can tell that... Um, I can tell the... <laughs> our flamethrower is, is a little bit loud. But here we go. This is it. This is it for, thir for 20 minutes. Just straight up butt bombing everything. It's... I was having so much fun with this the other day because it's actually, it, like I said, it's actually really strong. <laughs> it's so, it's so stupid. Just bombing. <laughs> like sometimes the things just go flying too. It's so stupid. I don't even, I don't even get this game sometimes. Like I just randomly discovered this. I was like, I'm, oh, I'm gonna look up what what some of the people's specials are, spend some money on it. And then I started playing around with this and I was like, wait, this is so stupid. And then I started putting more points into it and you can start doing like these these harder explosions and or whatever you want to call it. And it's, I can't wait to like see what everybody else's specials and whatever type of funny builds you can come up with. It's, this game is just so crazy. I. I I keep discovering all these like weird, stupid things that you can do every time I play it. it. It's it's a really, really powerful build. It is a little difficult to win though, because once I, I haven't been able to clear it yet because once I got to the end, um, the UFOs kind of take over. Uh, the UFOs don't really miss. <laughs> it's so, it's so tough. <laughs> but the UFOs don't really miss you. Um, so you, you start taking a lot of damage at the end. Um, that's why this is kind of like an unofficial no car run. Uh, Cause I, I'll probably get into a car at the end of the game at least. Okay, so we're gonna do things that basically just uh, increase like, increase our main non car stats. 
That's really all we're gonna do. It's a pretty good way to farm money too because you blow things up all the time. You're not, <laughs> you're not driving away from everything because sometimes it's hard to farm money when you're, uh, oh my gosh, when you're driving around in the car because you're usually running away from all the explosions. So when you blow something up, um, you're not collecting the money. But if you just kind of hang around for a little while and just destroy everything you can, uh, you'll rack up money really quickly. And then we'll obviously do it on, um, like we'll do, we'll focus a lot on these, um, on the ambulances and the fire trucks so we can keep our health up, all that good stuff. I want to see what happens when you just put, when you have a ton of money and you just put it all into this, <laughs> just put it all into this ability. If you're, if the sort of the butt bomb explosion gets even more powerful. Cause I, it's hard to notice because it's only such a small percentage, but if you were to upgrade this like 10 or 15 times, I wonder if it's, I wonder if you can just get some super crazy explosions or I don't even know what to call it, impact damage. This is definitely the best build I've discovered in this game though. I have, there's a few other builds we're gonna do too. I'm, I'm not gonna like mention those or anything, but we'll, we'll do those eventually too. There's a few other fun ideas I have. But for now, we're just gonna we're gonna stick with this bad boy because <laughs> this is probably this is probably the funnest one I've I think I've discovered. And I think we should do pretty well. I think we should be able to make it at least near the end of the game. We're already at, we're at five minutes in because as long as you just keep destroying, as long as you keep jumping, that's really all you need to do. Just keep jumping. Uh, it has a very low cooldown. And then whenever an ambulance shows up, just make sure you destroy it. And then get the health that they drop and you're golden. Okay, let's let's go get the level up. I usually usually if I'm playing this, uh, I get tunnel vision. I just focus so much on destroying them, especially when there's like a clump of cars and helicopters like this. I just want to blow everything up. But this is the kind of stuff, this is exactly what I wanted from this game. Just these pure, stupid, chaotic, really funny things you can do. Like, I hope there's I hope there's more stuff like this to discover as we play. Or they add just these crazy things like this. You can even get the helicopters too if they uh if they drop down. Okay, let's do gun aim and speed. I don't even know if any of this matters. Um, let's see. Cause we have, I mean, we basically have unlimited ammunition with this gun, so there's no reload or anything. Do we even get the helicopters too, which is crazy. The flamethrower is a pretty powerful gun too. Um, it doesn't do, you know, insane uh, damage, but it has like that damage over time effect. Okay, let's do the explosions, I guess. Yeah, look at that. So this is why it's a no a no car run too, you know, you don't you're really you're hurting yourself if you're in your car. You're better off just being out of your car with this type of build. Just put all your all your points into the into the jump and then the flamethrower is really expensive to upgrade. That's why I don't have a lot of upgrades in that yet, but that's what I'm going to start upgrading next and then it should be we should be good to go and it should be pretty powerful. 
Like, I would imagine at some point you'll be able to do a full clear with this. I mean, I've come really close to... Oh my gosh, that went flying. Uh, I've come really close without getting in my car at all. But, you know, this run, if we need to, we'll get in the car. If we need to get in the car to win, we're going to do it. Because at the end, the UFOs, the UFOs are just way too strong. They don't really miss. That's the problem. They're super accurate. Okay, we're going to do the health. Jeez, where did that thing even go? How far did we hit that? Sometimes they just go flying and it's hilarious. Like, look at this. It's so good. It's so good. I just, I, every time I do this, I just have so much fun. It, it just blows my mind how something so simple can be so fun. All right, let's go get this level up. You can jump off ledges too, which is nice too, or jump over some buildings. It's not like the highest jump, but it's, it's pretty good. See, like that fence I could jump over. Things like that. Oh, sorry, lady. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. It's like we can jump across the gaps. It's just, it's just all around a pretty useful ability. Okay, let's do... I'm not going to take any of the weapons, because I'm cool with sticking with my flame... Uh, yeah, flamethrower. Um, I guess we'll take... These ones aren't for current car, so let's do the increased vehicle armor. So eventually when I get into a vehicle... See, so these things, like these Apaches, they'll land to drop guys off. Uh, if you get them on the, the lower level, you can see it. Like, we can totally destroy it. We can destroy everything in this game. There's there's really no downfall to, <laughs> to this build, other than obviously not being, in a, not being in a car. But you can still kill everything. Okay, let's do... Again, I'm not going to take any of these other weapons. I'm just going to keep the flamethrower. Let's do the speed. See, so we're already halfway through. Let's get this ambulance. Like, I just, I literally just keep spamming, <laughs> spamming the button to, to do my jump. It's crazy that something so simple is so effective and fun. Alright, uh, let's go get this other level up. What I've been doing when I play by myself, though, is I haven't even really been doing the level ups, but since we are recording, um... <laughs> I'll, I'll do the level ups because I was just I what I would do is just sit in a an area like this and like I said I would just I would just farm gold I was just farming money just destroying everything that came nearby just kill everything make sure I keep up with my health and yeah I want to this really makes me want to max out this character. Um, even more because I want to I want to see how powerful this can get if you can really put a ton of points into it and just do just do some crazy damage with it 
Uh, okay, we'll take the health there, I guess. I don't need the health, but I don't want the weapons. Sorry, construction workers. So, look, I already have 15,000. I have 15,000 gold right now. Money. Dollars. The sound effects, too, are just amazing. Oh, man, look, we totally ruined that tank. Oh, man. I love the destruction. I think you can destroy the buildings now, too. Um, I don't know if we can do it with this, but I'm pretty sure you can destroy the buildings now. I don't know if that... Yeah, see? Uh, I hope they add better physics for that, but you can destroy the buildings. I don't know if that was always a thing. I just noticed that the other day when I was playing. I don't know if weapon, de if building destruction was always in the game, but it is something I did notice. All right, well we'll do the health again. I just I want to stick with the flamethrower. It's it's a good weapon. These things even land. Um. I'm, I always try to capture him. I never can do it, though. Okay, so once the UFOs show up, then we'll probably maybe start jumping in vehicles. Oh, oh my gosh, what was that? I think the helicopter landed on me. then yeah if you upgrade all your resistances it obviously makes you so much stronger so if you want to do this build i would probably recommend doing that put all your points into body armor can i get up here no maybe up here maybe this way though can i jump i'm trying to oh come on you can get up there please you can do it come on oh, okay we can't i'm not gonna sit there because i'm gonna take too much damage then i'm gonna have to go around Oh, let's get this thing first. No, come back here, ambulance. Okay, so we got five minutes left. See, like, see, it, the the Y button shows up when these things land, but I don't, I don't know if you can take them or not. I don't like how I wish we would target uh, the ambulances too. The for some reason the game doesn't detect it as an enemy, but so they won't detect it. What is? Oh, that's a motorcycle. I was like, what is that? All right, let's do the money. Would have liked to have gotten that one earlier. Imagine just this giant hot dog coming into your town with a flamethrower and butt bombing everything. <laughs> I can't get over how stupid this is. I seriously can't get over it. It's so stupid. Like, who makes a game like this? I love it. I love that the guy actually made a game like this. It's like, all right, we're just going to. I'm just gonna let you do this giant butt bomb and it's gonna blow up everything around you. All right, we need to get some health here. We're at four minutes left. Did he drop health? I don't know if that one dropped health. We're starting to get, we're gonna get to the really hard part soon. 
so we might have to start getting in our vehicles here in a little bit. Maybe this guy will have a heal. Yeah, see, the lasers, once once the lasers come out, they just, they start becoming really accurate. And the UFOs are even worse. The UFOs are super accurate. But I did pick up the extra running speed, so I wonder if that will help. I don't think I had that the last time I played. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how long I could feel like I survived. Every time something goes flying to it surprises me even though I it shouldn't because I should be expecting it It's like I know that's gonna happen, but it's still because sometimes I think what's cool is sometimes it doesn't have a huge exp Like the car doesn't go flying every time. So when it does happen, it's it's like that like right there That thing went, <laughs> that thing went like halfway across the map probably with that one <laughs> What the hell? I don't even know why sometimes they go flying so far and sometimes they don't. Oh, here's the UFOs. Okay. The like the UFOs make this tough. This, we gotta we gotta try to get out of here now. Oh my gosh, please no, just let me drive away. <laughs> Alright, well we have two minutes left. Um <laughs> I I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I might be able to now that I have this extra movement speed. Because maybe before the issue was I was too slow. Yeah, we might be able to do it. Cool. Yeah, they, they, can't, they can't hit me anymore. I'm too fast. Too fast for them. Just got to make sure I'm moving. One minute. And we're still sitting at like full health too. Oh no, no, no. Okay, more health. Good. All right, 50 seconds. Man, 22,000 gold, too. Alright, let's blow these things up so we can make sure that we get heals in case we need it. So we're starting to get a little low. There we go, full health again. 25 seconds, we can do this. I don't think there's anything we can do about the UFOs. The UFOs are too fast. All the other, yeah, and I guess the stealth bombers and the jets you can't do anything with either. There we go, we did it. I mean, this was not quite an, uh, an official no car run because I did get into a car for like a second, but we still, we did it. We cleared it. Pretty much a no car run with, with our butt bomb hot dog. It's so stupid. Literally the, probably the stupidest thing you can do in this game and it's so much fun. Absolutely insane. I love the devs for putting that in the game. Yeah, just build all armor, all armor, uh, all defense, uh, and then put just a ton of points into your butt bomb and you're golden. That was my first clear with with hot dog man, too. Because I was doing this, I did it a couple times last night and I would always die around that 19 minute mark. But this time was much better, probably because I had uh, I optimized the build a little bit more. You know, I put most of my points into um, into the defensive stats and things like that. Oh yeah, look at you. Look at you, hot dog guy. So that's what we look like under the mask. We did good, we did good. 
That was we set records for almost everything. Um, survival time. Oh yeah, I guess survival time wouldn't be the highest because one of the levels is a thirty minute run. But that was oh that wasn't even the most money we collected. It almost was. Uh, that was the most damage we dealt. Most <laughs> pedestrians killed. I wish I could see what the old record was. Definitely cars destroyed. Policemen killed. My goodness, six hundred and fifty four policemen killed. We destroyed eighteen tanks. 18 armored vehicles and then 217 police cars. That's crazy. All right, let's go. Um, let's go see what else we can upgrade here. Um, I have how much do we have? 24. Let's put. Let's put one point into here. And then see, like you can put more points in here. So here's how it works. So like, see how it's. Oh, is it only five percent each time? No, no. See, it's ten percent. So once you get it maxed out, I think it's 10%. And then once you do it over, it only goes to five. So let's put the rest. So now we have what? Like, I can't count how many stars that is because it's moving. But like nine star, we have like a nine star body slam now. And it, it the, the upgrade increases. It says uh, increases rate, velocity, and duration. I'm not really quite sure what that means. Like velocity, I guess that could be the power of your attack. But I don't know how the rate and duration is going to be. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly how that affects this. Like maybe the cooldown, uh, the duration. There's really no duration for this type of ability. So I'm not exactly sure what the wording on that means. Um, and I'm honestly, I'm not even sure if the velocity makes it so we do it bigger butt bombs. But <laughs> I think it does. I guess I could I could go back and try it with only one level versus nine kind of compare it but yeah it, it's pretty fun it's still fun either way whether you put a ton of points in this or just a couple uh it's really cool and then yeah just put most of your points into your bulletproof vest so you can get a that extra layer of protection in the the very beginning of the game um and then probably running speed and more resistance to impacts and explosions uh for sure you're gonna want that uh, you could probably put a bunch of points into leader too, which is probably what I'll put points into next. Um, and then, yeah, I, I wouldn't really put many points into the car stuff. Um, I w don't really know what else you would need to put points into for for this type of build. I guess more points into your weapon and then maybe splat damage. Still kind of learning what everything does in this and how they affect things because it's not super clear. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's our butt bomb uh, hot talk build. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoy these videos, please drop a like. Uh, if you want to see crazy videos like this all the time, I cover a lot of different roguelikes, so you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. And, yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this build. I think it's I think it's definitely one of the most fun builds I've, I've done in this game. It's it's crazy. It's fun. It's visually appealing. There's I don't know. There's so many good things to say about this. Just it's, it's just fun. Like this game doesn't have the most depth to it, like some other roguelikes and survival horde survival survival games. But this game is just fun to play, which is great. That's what games are here for. They're they're meant to be fun. And that's what this game is. This game is just pure fun to play. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day.